today on foul play, I'm gonna pump you up. Well, I'm gonna pump some water. Like I said, we're pumping water today. Uh, I'm getting ready to walk you through what I use to pump my water. Uh, kind of what I've come up with as a pretty good system that's working so far. But I want to hear from you. Have you pumped water into a, a duck hole like this? What'd you use? What kind of success did you have? You think I'm doing it wrong? Let me know. I want to hear your thoughts. Give me a thumbs up while you're at it. Thanks a lot. All right, I've been talking about uh, the pump here that I use to flood out some of the holes. Uh, that I have here on the property. I'm sitting uh, by the bean hole now, uh, but I used it over in the hole in the middle of the property where I've got the, uh, the moist soil uh, and some other uh, things that I planted in the bird seed actually. Uh, but I wanted to go over what I'm using and how it's done for me so far. I bought it last fall. Uh, my goal here, I'll be very honest, was cheap. I really was looking for the cheapest three inch uh, trash pump that I could find and that's what this is this is a Harbor Freight unit I think it's 212 cc's uh, I'll put the specifics I'll put a link to it and, and all those things maybe put a picture up there for you of this stuff uh, but it's uh, the Predator engine that Harbor Freight puts on all their stuff uh, and sells independently uh, three inch trash pump like I said um, I think it passes like half inch to three quarter inch solids uh, I tried renting a pump and it had been beat all to hell and just didn't want to hold the prime it didn't work very well so i just bit the bullet and went and bought one like i said though it's going for cheap so this unit i think if i recall correctly was about 370 bucks uh which is about the i don't think i could find anything cheaper at least not that i could get i didn't want to have something shipped to me um you don't get everything you need however with the pump i'll show you some closer pictures here in a second but you need an inflow pipe that needs to be rigid enough that it won't collapse under the uh, vacuum of sucking water in and you need some type of an outflow pipe now I got both of those at the same Harbor Freight at the same time um, that I got uh, the uh, pump uh, but just make sure um, you know keep that in mind when you go to do this you're going to be all in probably <clears throat> we can do the math when I put it up on the screen probably around 500 bucks is what you're going to be in for this guy um, but so far, I've been extremely happy with this. It's, it's Like I said, it's about as cheap as you're going to get for a trash pump. But it worked. Last year, I had it out here pumping in another hole. Uh, and we got a big, heavy rain came through. It might have been remnants of a tropical storm or something. But uh, it flooded out. The creek flooded where I'm standing right now. I'd probably have my butt wet. It was, it was about a foot deep in here, if not more, uh, at one point in time. And consequently, it flooded out where I was pumping. I showed up and water was up to here on this sucker. It was almost completely submerged. Um, I pulled it out. I don't even think I took the spark plug out. I just pulled it over a couple times. Uh, just to make sure it wasn't kind of hydraulic on me. Put some gas in it. Pulled the crank. Fired right back up. And it's run fine ever since. So, you now it... It may die tomorrow on me. I certainly have. I've left it sit out here. I, I pulled it in after the season. I brought it back out here in July. It sits outside in the rain. I think it got flooded again a few weeks ago, but I've run it a couple times since then. And literally, it sits here for weeks and starts on the first crane. So I have no complaints. I will say, well, one, I have one complaint. Not complaint. Um, thing I wish was a little bit better. It's only a 0.9 gallon fuel tank. Now, wide open throttle. This thing runs about an hour and 45 minutes, best I can tell, on nine-tenths of a gallon of gasoline. Um, what I've done here lately, the last couple times, I saw some other people doing similar things with these kinds of pumps. I'm running it more at about half throttle now. Um, it still puts out a lot of water, um, but it's running slower now. I think it runs for three or more hours on that same tank so it's putting out less volume per minute 
and I think this one puts out around 17,000 gallons an hour um, but um, it puts out um, less water per minute but puts it out for more minute I think the net outcome here is that I'm getting more water on the property uh, per tank of fuel than I was running it wide open and also too it's probably not good on an engine even though it's basically a lawnmower engine right we run, run those wide open but um, you know it's a little easier on it to run half throttle probably than wide open it's quieter too which doesn't really matter too much out here there's nobody to bother but whatever you know it's just one more plus I guess of running it uh, not wide open how much water or how long will it take to fill your duck hole I was going to sit down on my phone and pull up uh, the math on this um, and uh, to figure out how many acre inches of water I'm filling out in uh, an hour and I'm gonna have to put that in the comments because we get almost no cell signal out here so I don't have any idea or off the top of my head I want to say I was maybe putting an acre inch down about every hour um, something like that so if you've got an acre sized hole you're gonna flat right you know you got to figure if it's uh, something other than just a flat rectangle of water, you're, you're going to do it a little bit differently. Um, but, uh, alright, let's see if the dog can come here without knocking the camera over. Alright, Rosie, sit. But uh, an acre inch of water, if you've got a fairly flat area, you can get an idea. You know, you can put several inches on an acre of water with a couple of uh, tanks of gas. It seemed to be, we did it for me last year. The hole I filled up last year, I think I put about... Uh, uh, flooded about two acres last year and it was deeper in some spots it was it had a couple of big ditches through it and a couple of areas where it was knee deep and I think about five or six tanks of fuel in this got that thing covered now if you're flooding five six ten acres this probably is not what you want um, it's it's it just probably is going to take too long unless you've got forever and a day to do it you know when I was a kid uh, my dad and the guys we hunted with would actually use a pump like this and uh, and they would go out there one of them would drive out in the morning before work put in a tank of gas fire it up go to work somebody else would come out after work put in a tank of gas fire it out and go home and in two or three weeks they they flood their uh, they flood their hole we were putting in a um, in a cornfield that had you know been picked and we had a pit there but um, yeah, I mean, you could probably do it, but it may not. It's just going to take longer, right? I guess it's like everything. So, um, let me walk you around and show you the other pieces real quick. Uh, fired up. We'll take a look at the outflow. I'll sh it's going to be kind of hard. I dropped the hose in, and the ditch is already starting to fill up with water. Uh, I'm flooding the hole because uh, I'm working on uh, plugging up the dam to get uh, plug a leak. Uh, but we'll take a look at how it looks. I've got it set at half throttle right now because that's how it was running last time. We'll see how that water flows out at half throttle. We'll see it at full throttle and, and you know, kind of judge. It'll be underwater. May not see that too good, but you guys will get a feel for what I'm doing and, um, you know, why I chose this. Like I said, my my main goal was cheap, and this did. I, I did find another one. They must not have had this last year. Uh, just a quick quick other note. So Champion is a brand that they make generators. I actually have a couple of their generators. They seem to work just fine. Um, but uh, uh, being sold at I think both Lowe's and Home Depot which is probably easier to come by than a Harbor Freight I think sometimes uh, but the cool thing about that is um, it's a three inch trash pump so it's going to be roughly the same size and I can pick this up and lug it around I don't want to carry it across the field so I can pick it up and set it in the back of the truck pretty easily uh, so it's about the same size um, but it has a three gallon tank and it comes in a kit with the hose I think this is 25 feet discharge and inflow hose uh, for both of these but um, um, I think that's a pretty sweet deal really to get both of those things for about the same yeah, same money about 550 bucks you can they may not have it in stock at your your name your choice uh, home improvement store but uh, you can probably do a you know deliver to store and pick it up for no freight uh, if I was going to buy another one right now I'd probably get that one mostly just because it comes with that bigger fuel tank i would love to be able to put three gallons of gas in this sucker and um, and let it run um, so that being said um let me show you a little bit better what the other hoses look like real quick and then we'll pour some gas in this and it's been sitting here cold i, I ran it september 3rd open the day of dove season here today is september 
Thank you. Yep, September 19th. So it hasn't run. It sat out here in the rain a couple times. And we'll see if it fires up on the first start. All right, let's go take a look at some of the other stuff. All right, real quickly, as I said, let's take a look at the hoses that you need to work with this pump. So at the pump end, uh, the red one on top is outflow, and that green one on the bottom is the inflow. Uh, it has to be very rigid or it'll collapse under the suction. As a result, it's kind of a pain in the butt to work with. Uh, it never wants to straighten out fully. It's always got a bit of a curve to it, which works out pretty good for me here. Uh, but the other hose is, is, as you can see, it collapses. It's like a plastic-covered, thin fire hose. Not as thick and durable as a fire hose would be, um, but, uh, you know, e easy enough to work with. I don't think we can see all the way over here where it comes into the creek. If we get down here real close, you can see there's a little screen on the bottom down there uh, just to keep major gunk from getting in it, and Rosie's going to muddy everything up for us. But uh, that's pretty much how that works there. Pretty straightforward stuff. Um, like I said, you got to have at least the inflow. I guess I could just let it spray water everywhere for the outflow if I was sitting right over where I wanted it. But I didn't want to do that. And where I was last year, I, I couldn't do that anyway. I needed to run it down the hill a little bit before it got to where I wanted it. So um, this is probably just a little, little um, easier to deal with. Um, I guess one other thing about this pump that I would change if I could is I don't like that the inflow and outflow are going the same direction. Um, the one that I rented last year, um, I don't think it did that. I think there was something going off to the side. I would love to have a 90 degree elbow going out to uh, left here as you're facing it uh, for the outflow pipe. Uh, just, just It would make it a little bit easier to arrange if I didn't have both of those going the same direction. It works here, uh, but if I needed the water to go off to the left, somehow it might be a little bit awkward. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's it. We can see that uh, these ends are just the screw kind. There's a cam lock kind as well. I found them to be somewhat of a pain to work with. Um, let me get a little closer. Uh, particularly, uh, there's this these screw on. They just kind of screw on by hand. The cam lock stuff was tougher to work with, particularly when you have cold, wet hands, as I did last winter out here. Uh, the screw on kind works pretty good. I have not done it yet, but I think a little grease on those threads would probably make uh, my day just a little bit easier. So simple operation of this pump. Um, I'll take this cap off here in a second with the old handy dandy five gallon bucket that everybody should have. I will pour some in there to kind of prime the pump. We'll fill it up with gas. On the other side over there, I'm not gonna go around that side and show you. If you've used any kind of a small engine before, you're familiar with these kinds of controls. It's got a fuel shut off. Uh, it's got a choke that you'll turn over just to start it. Uh, and it's got an ignition on off switch and a throttle and that's it it's super simple so uh, let me set you down once again we'll put some gas in it set the choke hey guys just want to point out i did this in real time with no editing just because i wanted to show you that it was really easy to get this thing running I would recommend shutting this sucker off before you refill it. Uh, if you spill water on a hot engine, that could be a bad day. So don't try to fill this up while it's running. the cap off uh, the pump housing. Step over here in the creek with my lovely assistant. I've got about three gallons here. It doesn't have to be a full five gallons. As you see, I'm going to pour it everywhere. Be 
just trying to hit the hole as good, best I can. I'm not too worried about getting it everywhere. That ever drop goes in. They do recommend you do not run this thing dry. I haven't tried just to fire it up, see if it has enough suction to prime itself. Maybe I will one day. Um, would like to get a foot valve for the bottom of the intake hose. Maybe I can get it to hold water in and hold the prime that way. Maybe make this process even simpler, even though honestly, it's pretty easy right now. cap back on because if you don't it'll shoot water about this high which today mid-september in north carolina might not be so bad all right that should be set at about half throttle from where i left it last time like i said i haven't touched it since the last time it ran uh september 3rd ignition is on mm. Gas is on, choke to start, leave the throttle alone. Let's see what you do. First crank, ain't bad. It's already starting to build pressure in the red pipe. You can see it start to swell. You can hear the motor bog down a little bit. Like I mentioned, I wanted to get over here. Let's compare low speed versus high speed. Uh, you can see how it's running out of here now. Let me get you down real close. That's coming out of there pretty good. I am. Uh, I think it's running pretty good. The hose has got a little bit of a kink in it up here. I may go kick it around in a minute. Let me go fire it up full throttle, and we'll see what difference that makes. All right, full throttle. Eh, it went underwater. You can see it jumps around. It's coming out harder. Oh well, you can hear me. It's coming out harder for sure. But I bet you I still get a better total volume by cranking it down a little bit. You can see again. And one thing to note at full throttle, this thing does jump around like a fire hose. So it had not cracked me in the shins yet. But I bet it's gonna one of these days. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back put it at half throttle. I'm gonna go work on some other stuff for a little bit. Come back and check on this in a little while. All right, we got the pump running. It's about a quarter of three now. I think it's been running five-ish minutes or so. This is where the pond started. Started when I got in here today. I dropped the uh, pipe from the creek in just to take advantage of that free water there that was going to flow in from the creek. So you can see about where it is. Old Rosie's over there. It's about chin deep. What in the world? What are you doing? Go around the water. Go play in the water. Go play in the water. All right. Yeah, that's a lab pup for you. But you can see about where she is now. Um, that little stob there is kind of sticking up. Uh, that's holding the, the inflow or uh, drain pipe in. Um, but uh, we'll come back in a little while, see how much water we put on the hole. All right, we're back here at the bean hole. Had the pump running just about at an hour. I went and checked on some other uh, rest of the property, moved some cameras around and things like that. Came back and you remember we said that little stob was sticking up there by the drain about, what was that, about two inches or so? It's pretty much underwater now. Pump's still running after an hour, probably still Got more than a half take of fuel but uh yeah it's uh it's pumping in here pretty good so we'll let it run like i said i'm checking the dam for leaks we'll see how that goes i want to get it good and full do some more work top off the tank go have a beer all right have a good day thanks for joining me